Yes, quick ship vid, what's good everybody? Dropping in after a first time in a few days. Um, drink water is uh, unanimously been denied and uh, I agree, I don't know what I was thinking. It's not what I was thinking, I was just having a bit of a laugh, drink water. But, uh, well I wasn't having a laugh, well I was I wasn't having a laugh. I was just surprised, I forgot, I forgot he existed, I forgot he were alive, I thought he died. I thought he'd RIP'd, so... Um, what am I talking about? Fucking not started this very well. Um, quick shit vid. <laughs> fucking, what the fuck? I've had a meltdown. So Phillips has been heavily linked with Man City now. It's getting, he's getting absolutely bombarded. Everybody, every single news article's on about it. Different articles in the same fucking newspapers. Sky Sports News got shut up about it. All saying that you know they've been they're looking to offload like Gabriel Jesus to might get rid of Gundogan. They're looking to like open some space up. So obviously they got Haaland pretty cheap, but they also you know they'll have a big wage bill and what have you for him. So with financial fair play, I would imagine they'll have to move some players on. Um, so that's that's huge. Which I would like to retain Phillips more than Raf really, but I just yeah. I'm terrified we're going to lose both. We've got to keep on this Dortmund hype where you just lose one a year and then you can continue to build. But if we were to lose Phillips, so there's this Mark Rocker that everybody's banging on about, but he's literally set to sign tomorrow. So that's what everybody's saying. Apparently we beat West Ham and Wolves to get him. 25-year-old midfielder from Bayern Munich. He's apparently really good. Everybody bangs on about him. He's only 12 million, which don't really sort of signify the fact that he's very good, but... You know, being at Bayern, it was a spit part player and what have you. But apparently they're setting up their, their medical now. So they're getting on with that. So, um, And then Rafinha, apparently. Uh, Barca are out at mix now. They're looking for alternatives, allegedly. So the only issue with that is Arsenal and Tottenham have come in. Now, as good as... I mean, Tottenham are in Champions League and stuff. And Arsenal are on the... I don't know if they're on the up, sort of at a stalemate, aren't they? But Arteta's sort of got something in locker with the money, so I still think they're the realistically, other than Barca, because I think he could go over there and, and be pretty awesome. I think realistically they're the only clubs he could go to, but I can't see Tottenham particularly wanting him. Tottenham seems to be signing quite a few players. Depends how much he is, but like, is he going to get in over Son? No. Obviously, Kane's up top, and then. No, what I fuck knows what they're doing on the other side nowadays. I don't know, but it's a possibility, and Arsenal's a bit of a possibility. But they've got quite a, quite a few decent players going forward. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they'll spend that big on him. I don't know if it'll be a big enough pull. I don't know. Um, if we just lose one, I'm I'm resigned to losing one. I don't mind which, but I just can't lose them both. I don't think we can lose them both. I think it's too much of a hit. It's too hard to replace. Both of them. Uh, you think you can get away with one of them, really. Um, and then there's rumours that Shackleton's on his way out as well, which I think is a shame. Uh, but that, that might just be shit talk. Might just be some, some people making him whack up. Because I think Shackleton were a bit unlucky, really, and especially when we didn't have a right-back and Ailing were like out for the rest of the season and stuff, and he just refused to play him. And I think Shackleton's got loads of energy. I think he's a good player. Like, he just needs a bit more of an opportunity. But yeah, super shit quick vid. So what you're saying, are you all watching England tonight? I couldn't really give a shit about it. I didn't even know they were on until about 10 minutes ago and it dawned on me. Dross at minutes. So boring to watch. I'll jump on bandwagon for the World Cup, but... <sighs> boring. I see if Phillips plays. Because obviously he's had that dead leg or whatever's been up with him. But yeah, if you want to support me, all my links are below. I've got some new music come out. So please, I would appreciate it if you type in Jack City Games into YouTube. Jack City Games... Uh, and like and subscribe and go comment over there. I appreciate you all. You'd make a little woollied man very happy if he was to do that. So, yeah, man. Nice one. Take it easy, everybody. I'll speak to you all in a bit.